In this video we're going to be looking at orthographic drawings and how they're laid out. Two dimensional drawing can be an easy way of communicating precise levels of detail, however there are drawbacks. If we look at this drawing it's actually quite difficult to recognise. Maybe a few more people might be able to recognise it from this view. And maybe this one is slightly more recognisable again. As a lot of you may have guessed they're all drawings of the same product. If we have a look at it in three dimensions, it's much more recognisable as a camera. So when we're drawing in two dimensions to get those high levels of precision communication, um, we need to think about how we're going to lay it out. As a single two-dimensional drawing on its own probably won't give the reader all the information that they need about your product. When laying a drawing out in orthographic, we start off by drawing our front view, we can then roll that to one side and then adjacent to that we can have the side view and then if we roll it downwards we've then got our plan view or our top view. And here we have our orthographic projection of our camera. But why is it so important to lay them out in a specific way? For designers and manufacturers, drawing is a method of communication, so we need to make sure that the reader can understand what is being said. For example, when writing, the person reading it won't make sense of the words if they're not in the correct order. It needs to be laid out in the correct manner in order to make sense to the reader. There are two methods of laying out an orthographic drawing, first angle and third angle projection. If we're using first angle, then the product rolls towards us as we change views, whereas for third angle projection we imagine the product rolling away from us. Well, another way of looking at it that I find easier to remember is that if we imagine we've got our front view and in first angle projection it rolls towards us one time, 90 degrees, whereas in third angle projection it actually rolls over still towards us but one to three times, hence the third angle. So if we look at the orthographic projections of this camera, you'll notice they both contain the same information, just laid out in a slightly different order. So on the first angle projection, the left view is to the right of the front, and on a third angle projection, the left view is to the left of that front view, which might make more sense to some people. The most important thing is, though, we need to know which type of projection we're looking at. So we have symbols to help us recognize first angle and third angle projection. The symbols themselves make sense if we imagine a cone with the point chopped off. If we take that cone and draw that using first angle projection, it'll roll towards us and look like so. And there is our symbol for first angle projection. However, if we take that same cone and use third angle projection so it rolls away from us we get our third angle projection symbol. So It's important we know what type of orthographic drawing we're looking at and we use the symbols to symbolize it. So let's draw an orthographic drawing of a pencil sharpener. First thing when we're drawing anything we need to be aware of construction lines. Construction lines need to be light. They're there to lay out our drawings and help us get everything in the right place and the right scale and we want to get rid of them afterwards, so a nice light pencil line. So we're going to start by drawing our first face of our pencil sharpener, so we're going to draw a rectangle and have some detail there of the texture on the side of the sharpener. And then we're going to project lines out so we know where to do our next drawing. Using those projected lines we can draw our side view Remembering those projected construction lines are nice and light so we can erase them later. If we take a 45 degree line from the bottom corner of the front view, we can then use that to project down and then across from there to get the size of our plan view. We can then use those guidelines to get the right size and shape to draw and line up our plan view. Once we're happy with our orthographic projection, we can ink those out and delete or erase our construction lines 
and there we have our orthographic projection. We put our first angle projection symbol in place so readers understand what they're looking at. And there we have our orthographic drawing of our pencil sharpener.